the basic polymerization step you see in these macromolecules as well as other places in, in uh, metabolism, the chemistry that goes on inside of living things, uh, involves something known as dehydration synthesis. And in fact, what we've got here is the dehydration synthesis reaction going down, and that's also known as a condensation reaction. And the reverse of that reaction, not that this is a reversible reaction, but the reverse of that reaction is called hydrolysis. I'm sure you've all heard of the word, heard the word hydrolysis. So hydrolysis is involved in breaking things down. And the lysis portion of hydrolysis is really what's describing the breaking of things down. It's the breaking of bonds that make up these polymers, for example. Uh, and in fact, specifically, it's a breaking of a bond that involves the insertion of a water molecule into that bond. When we had sucrase breaking down sucrose into its component parts, we were inserting a water molecule into the sucrose. That was hydrolysis. So hydrolysis is the breaking of this thing into its constituent parts. The water molecule, actually, you can see it, water molecule is H2O. Here's one of the H's, and here's the O, and here's the other H right there. Dehydration synthesis is instead removing the water molecule in order to form a bond between two things. So it's dehydration. It's, it's the loss of a water. So it's the building of something up, the synthesis of something, by removing a water molecule or dehydration synthesis. This process here, although I don't show it, is an energy requiring process. And the reverse reaction going this way releases energy. So hydrolysis releases energy. Building things up, like what we're seeing here with this polymerization, requires energy. So you can build things up into larger structures. It takes energy to do that. And then you can take the larger structures and break them down. And, and you can actually um, release energy doing that. Okay, And that's, that's the basics of how macromolecules are put together. There are these chains of things, and the individual subunits that make up the chains are attached together using dehydration synthesis. And you can digest these molecules by doing the reverse reaction, which is called hydrolysis.